Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, I am going to talk about angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors. They are primarily used as antihypertensive agents and also other cardiovascular risk management. They reduce hypertension primarily by vasodilation and decreasing blood volume. Angiotensin 2 is itself a potential vasoconstrictor and it also stimulates the production of aldosterone and antidiuretic hormone which further cause vasoconstriction and salt and water reabsorption into the blood which thereby increases the blood volume and tends to increase the blood pressure. So these ACE inhibitors inhibit the formation of angiotensin 2 and prevent vasoconstriction and increase in blood volume. Thereby, blood volume does not increase and blood pressure does not increase. To know the mechanism of action of ACE inhibitors, let us take a look into renin angiotensin aldosterone system. Angiotensin 2 is produced from its base compound angiotensinogen. It is formed in the liver and it is acted upon by renin to form angiotensin 1. This angiotensin 1 is acted upon by angiotensin converting enzyme and angiotensin 2 is formed. Angiotensin 2 has the following reactions. It increases sympathetic transmissions like it increases heart rate and increases vasoconstriction. Angiotensin 2 promotes the synthesis of vasopressin which is also known as antidiuretic hormone. This vasopressin acts on kidney. It increases water and salt permeability in the cells of distal convoluted tubule and collecting duct thereby reabsorption of salt and water into the blood occurs which increases blood volume. Angiotensin 2 itself is a potent vasoconstrictor. It shows vasoconstriction in peripherals and also in kidneys. In kidneys especially in efferent arterioles of juxtaglomerular apparatus. It reduces blood flow to the kidney, decreases GFR, decreases urinary output and increases blood volume. Angiotensin 2 also increases aldosterone release which increases salt and water reabsorption into the blood, increased potassium secretion, decreased urine output and increased blood volume. With all these increase in blood volumes, the blood pressure increases. So, as the name indicates, these ACE inhibitors inhibit the enzyme angiotensin converting enzyme. So, angiotensin 2 is not produced. So, therefore, no vasoconstriction, no formation of vasopressin or aldosterone, no sodium or water reabsorption into the blood and the blood volume remains same and the blood pressure does not increase. ACE inhibitors decrease serum angiotensin 2 levels and increase serum renin activity which causes decrease in aldosterone secretion, increase in serum potassium levels and fluid loss. Enlapril malleate is a prodrug which is converted to its active form in the liver that is enlaprilat. Enlaprilat inhibits enzymatic proteolysis of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. Apart from the normal mechanism of action, ramipril also decreases peripheral arterial resistance. Coming to contraindications, these are contraindicated when these are used concurrently with aliskaran in patients with diabetes or patients with renal impairment that is whose GFR is less than 60 ml per minute. These are also contraindicated in the patient who are hypersensitive to the drug or the drug class. That's all for this video. See you again in the next one. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Medboy.